Oh, hey. Hey. You're so, so close. Oh, so close. <laughs> I've already promised everybody you're going to do a magic trick. Oh, gosh. Okay, no. how about I'm going to break my finger like so it's broken. That's pretty good. That's to Notice how long my That's better than any is. trick I've done today. How are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I'm good, you guys. Hey, I see my buddy Miles the Trainer and Jimmy the Trainer are on. What's up, guys? Um, uh, David, I just finished building my guest room closet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You've been really taken to the to the home uh, improvements. Yeah, you guys, it's it's real. It's like we tell us all about and... this closet that you just built. Well, it looks a lot like this one. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm basically redoing our guest room closet to match our master bedroom closet. And it's kind of a big deal because I'm doing it myself and I demoed the shelf and it's not something I'm used to. And I'm a little claustrophobic, I discovered. <laughs> so if you see me sweating, it's post-traumatic stress syndrome from- Closet, post-traumatic from... closet disorder. And if I we think... don't hear from you for a number of days, we know that you, you're trapped in the closet. I'm trapped in the closet and it wouldn't be the first time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay go ahead go ahead guys not sure just, you meant by that you, you know you're welcome to explain <laughs> <laughs> dude it's place. so good to it's so good to see you man good to see you too i was telling everybody how we met through aline and rachel dude that day was epic it was the pilot and you caught a jacket and your look was like wtf and then yeah. you reappeared in season four and you caught something again and yeah, your look called... was the same that's called acting, my friend. It's called throwback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked a little, the jacket hit me and I said, it's, that was it. it. It's, that was, my, that was it's, my performance. It's so subtle, but I love it. And I love that we have so much in common. And you guys, I got to perform magic for David R. Kwong. That's kind of a big deal. And I was in the Magic Castle at a table. And it was as if I was a member, but I wasn't. Because well, you, uh, you, you're, you're, not, you're not a member of the castle, you should totally join. It's, I'm uh, supposed to. You're my sponsor. You, you'd, bre you'd breeze right through the, <laughs> through the audition. You're, you're so good. Oh, thanks, man. I've been doing it a while. I mean, I did it since high school. That was how I got – that's how I prevented myself from getting beat up in high school. I, I had two black belts, so that helped. And I was a chunky, beefy guy. But uh, I was also in band – so that was well, very... look, you're getting some great comments here about people loving the show. Oh, thanks, guys. So, hey, so let's let's do a puzzle because I wrote a puzzle okay. that was inspired by Crazy Ex Girlfriend. All right, on... dude. Oh my God, look at that! Which you were a co-star. I was. Wait, hold on. See, now I have to go get something because I feel like I need to oh, represent. God. Wait for it. Wait <laughs> for it, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Surprise number one. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a Disney product, guys. I bought, I, as soon as I saw this, I freaked out and I got one for Rachel. And look at the smiley face. That's pretty great. Oh, it's, it's pretty in the cute. shape of the ear. That's very, that's smart. Yeah. It's like, you know, but it's a pretzel. Yeah. So it's like, eh, and there's an X on the back. It's like they made <laughs> it for us. They made it for us. They didn't make this for us. You guys, throw back. Oh, my. This oh. is Channy Bear. He didn't get burned. Manuel, our props guy, gave it to me as a gift. That's awesome. And who so, has, uh, who has um, the alligator, the, the Ruth Bader gator? Oh, dude. You guys, we named that gator. I don't know if the fans know that. We named that alligator on her bed. And we have so many photos with it. I I've taken so many pictures of people hugging that alligator, laying with that alligator. Did I get the name right? It's yeah, Ruth, <laughs> Ruth Gator Gator. Ginsburg, Ginsburg. Ah, it goes in there. Okay, got it. It goes into the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, my friend Becca says. Ruth there it is. Ruth yep. Gator. Gin yes, Gator Ginsburg. That's All right. it. Let's do a puzzle. People are here to oh. solve a puzzle. You guys, I need your help. I have to ask them for help. You guys, all forty-two of you have to help me because yeah. my brain, I I left it in the closet. You're I'm just gonna go with that. You're gonna be just fine. Um, <laughs> Hey, look, Rachel. Rach! Yay! Rach, say hi to your, your baby for me. Rach, I was just thinking about you. I, I literally was. I was thinking about her and her baby. Oh, that's cute. Because her and Gregor have a baby now. It's like there's, a, there's, there's one of them now. It's true. It's a human being. They were, that... they, someone allowed them to reproduce. And it's going right. to be great. All so, right, crazy extra friend. Yep. All right. I was, uh, I was inspired by the X prefix 
Uh -huh. And I thought there are words out there that you could add X to to get new words, right? So you can <laughs> take, look at this, you could take communication and get X communication, which is fitting because here you are uh, joining the priesthood. So, uh -huh. so, so the way this, the way this puzzle is going to work is I'm going to give you a clue. Okay. It's a silly phrase that is cluing to a word. All right. And that word is X something. So if I were to say this, here's your clue. A place where ships used to dock, the answer is export. Because you're taking the letters X and you're putting it in front of port or ship's dock to get a new word, export. And, you know, it's a place where they used to dock, right? Got it. Got it. Okay. So the answer, put X before me. Got it. Here's another, here's another example. Okay. Um, no longer a frame in animation would be an X cell. It used to be a frame in animation. An Excel is a word in itself, right? David, you are a genius. All right. So this <laughs> is going to work. If you know the answer, you can spit it out. If you don't know the answer, all these people in the chat are smarter than both of us, and they'll have it immediately. You can I'm go to them for help. I'm going to stare. I'm just going to stare at all of their answers. In you guys fact, are already in fact, so some smart. of them probably have some of the answers already because they're already thinking what words. Oh, yeah. X2. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so the way it works is like this. I'm going to give okay. you your first clue. All right. How about this? Okay. What a fashion model used to strike. Expose. Yes, it is expose. David, did you by chance come up with that clue because of my fierce um, zipper pant riff, uh, ripping pants ripping skills or my model career for <laughs> half an episode with Britney Snow? No? Is that? No. No? Coincidence? But if you okay, care fine. to demonstrate any of these things, we are all game. I'm like... No. All right. It's, okay, guys, that's hot in LA. So, all right. All right. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. How about this? Where you used to sleep when camping. Uh, you know what I said? What is <laughs> extent? It's extent. Yeah. Now you're getting these pretty fast. So let's actually, uh, why don't you wait a few seconds now? You raise your hand, be like, I got it. And we'll give okay. the people in the chat a, a, a chance to get it because you are blazing through these, which we is should, great. We should let them know, though, David, the reason why I am is because I was so worried I, I wouldn't know any of these. So no, it's that little, just like, just I'm just doing a lot of this right now. You're doing just fine. <laughs> Check this out. What is the X word, if you're just joining us, the X word for this? No longer 16 ounces. ounces. Hmm. So this one's this one's tough. I mean, because yeah. I'm trying to think of the significance of 16 ounces. Yeah, what does that equal? Oh no, I'm not gonna get this right. Well, I'm, on, I'm trying to do it without looking. I, I'm not gonna get it right, so I'm just gonna look. I'm too embarrassed. All right. Oh, 16 uh, ounces Alan is a has pound. It, Retta has it. Francis Haney has it. Look at that. <laughs> you oh, guys people, got it. They helped we're me. We're talking about your uh, Radio City um, show. Uh, which yeah. I, was, I was there as well. Dude, you were. Yeah. Rach, remember that? That night yeah. was magical. I still have videos from it. So, uh, sorry, task at hand here. Uh, no longer 16 yeah. ounces. It was an X pound. X pound is the word here. Right? 16 okay. ounces equals a pound. Okay. Yeah, here's the next one. Hey, Philippines. I just want to say hi to the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. What you use. I'll read it. Yeah, what you, got, you, you got this one. We got what this. Okay. What, do what you here. used to do on the bench in the gym. I got this. Yeah, I knew you would. This was really just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I miss the gym so much. But yeah. I have a lovely yoga mat and a pull-up bar. Yeah. And and resistance bands. All right, you guys, yeah, you they, they got it. it. So everyone's got so, it. What's the answer, Benny? Press. Yeah. X press. Yeah. Express. You used to be a press, now you are an express. Very good. Okay. If you're just joining, Benny's looking for X words that answer these clues. How about this? Formerly a rainy area in Spain. The rain in Spain. I don't know. I'm a musical theater guy. Sorry. Okay. Formerly a rainy area in Spain. This is musical theater, my friend. Come on. More or less. I mean, is it really this answer? I'm going to, I'm going to say it. Should right. I say it now? Because right. I'm trying to see if I know it. I'm probably going to, I might get it wrong. Explain. 
Yeah, six plane. It, oh. It, it rains mainly in the plane. In the plane. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, David, for okay. playing to my musical theater nerdy There's, strengths. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate that, man. I feel good Look about this out. one, too. What is the X word for this? No longer pennies and nickels. No longer pennies and nickels. I got this one. Okay. Yeah. I got yeah. this one. Uh, I'm not going to say the answer, but I will say I've been working a lot. The only coin magic I really know is scotch and soda because it's an awesome effect. That's and a classic, that, and it works. That, I got to get it. It's a fooler. All right, it's so I think fooler. it's press. Or no, no, change. Yeah. Because of... And then exchange. Yeah, exchange, exchange yeah. is formerly pennies and nickels, no longer. This is, David, this All is right. really cool, dude. This is really cool that you All made right, how these. How about this one? What's your X word? No longer a John Deere product. No longer a John Deere product. Okay. Uh, okay, I got this one. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, that image. Magic, Tana's magic is echoing that scotch hey. and soda is a great trick. I probably... Oh. I Dude. probably got my first scotch and soda at Tana's Magic, by the you way. Oh, really? Yeah. I, for me, it was Joe's uh, uh, Misdirections Magic Shop in San Francisco. I've been I'm there. From. Mm -hmm. Joe Pond, that's my boy, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought so much magic from him. Okay, so the answer, no longer a deer product. And when you say deer product, I immediately think tractor. Yeah. Extractor. Extractor, all the answers Extractor. are coming in. Barry's got it. Yeah. Yeah, my friend Olivia got... has it. Look at this. And They're the geniuses. Is extractor. You guys are so smart. These yeah. guys are smart, man. So many crazy ex-girlfriend fans. This is awesome. Yeah. Joe Pond is the man. Thanks, Tannin's Magic. I'm also buddies with um, – can't remember his name because he's that important to me. That's I'm. It's one thirteen, and my brain is fried. Well, but here I am. There are no doing rules puzzles. in quarantine. Vinny. <laughs> there are no rules in quarantine. All right. If you're just joining, Vinny's looking for X words for these silly clues. How about this okay. one? No longer a reference. In a bibliography, no longer reference. In a bibliography. I mean, that can't be it. I, I, I think I think index, and then I think. No wait. Wait, reference in a big. Oh man, you know what? See, this is where I get. Uh, I honestly don't know, so I'm just yeah, gonna look okay. down. This one's, this okay. One's tough. Uh, you want to take a look? Yeah. Uh, what? Sure. Really? Is that really there it? There we go. Yep. If you are uh, citing a okay. work in a reference, so it's excite. Oh my a gosh! Is a citation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Yep. Reference in a bi in a bib bibliography. That says bibliography. Bibliography. Yeah. No longer reference. bibliography. Uh -huh. Cite. Okay. See, yes. things I don't know. I'm like trying to expand my vocabulary, and you're helping yeah. me. Thank you, I'm David. Not, uh, <laughs> whew, it is. I gotta shut the door. It's loud. There's it's also no hot. Second. It's hot. If any of you guys are in hot weather, cheers. Let's hydrate together. Or if any of you happen to be breastfeeding, you know who you are. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So here we go. Next one. Um, oh, this is funny. Great. Okay. No longer play a role on a TV show. Vinny is looking for his X word. No longer play. Rachel just letting us know that she keeps barfing. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> She's process. Your 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 new child is processing all the meals and the poops. It's oh, we got someone okay. from Australia watching. That's great. So, hey, Australia. Uh, no, no longer, longer no longer play a role on a TV show. What you know? Uh, no play a role on a TV show. I mean after Yeah, actor. I mean you're saying it, you're saying it. Is it, it is it is it is it ex actor? Yeah, yeah, basically. Absolutely right. It really? Oh exact. No longer, act, no. You no longer play a role. All right, here we go. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh here's your next X one. Wait, hold on. Excalibur. <laughs> Just keep no, Excalibur. saying Excalibur. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. One day we'll get that. Yeah, people, right. are, people are getting ahead of it a little bit. Here we go. Person who used to be Vanna's co-host on Wheel of Fortune. That is not a word. No way. It's a word. It's short is it, for a is longer it, is word. It, is it this person's first name or last yeah, name? Yeah, because Vanna, we got the first name. So the first yeah. Name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Dave has it. Julie has is, it. Is it? Is it? Expat? Has it. What did you say? Is it expat? 
Yes, an expat is an expatriate expat, someone who lives overseas. No way. Oh. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when how many lived, words do you know, man? When I lived in Hong this Kong, I was an, ex, uh, an expat in Hong Kong, right? All right. Uh-huh. That's Here really cool. Go. No longer manage as a bar. What is your X word, Vinny? Okay. I mean, I'm thinking of the show, so I'm just thinking of... Oh, wait. Dave has it very quick. Huh? Wait, wait. So, so um, you say manage bar, and I think of, um, of either Greg or Kevin. Amy has it. Steph has it. Olivia has it. Uh, when you are behind the bar, what are you doing? You are... A bartender? Yeah. So put that together. See if you can figure out what's going X, on there. And then X... I saw, I already saw it. X10. Yeah, yeah. X yeah, got it. That's all right. It is X10 <laughs> if you used... To work at a bar, you uh, extend. All right. I was, I got, I was thinking too deep. I was thinking, like, who was the bartender back there? For Here's four your last years. one. Bring it yeah. on home. You are looking for your X word right here. No longer the one who said "hasta la vista, baby." First name or last name? I'm gonna let you work it out. Well, the last name can't be. I mean, yeah, it has to be first name. It's not gonna uh, work. Yeah, I, I, if this is who I'm thinking, thinking it is, uh, my trainer trains his son. Oh. And I, and he was just on a on one of our workout uh, Zoom workouts last week. Uh, is it? Uh, I, I'm gonna focus. Don't look at the comments yet. I'm gonna focus you more on the movie, on the on the character. Oh, oh, okay, the character. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. What's your answer? Exterminator. Exterminator. Hey. You used to say Oslo Vista, baby. That is your man, Arnie, right hey, there. Hey, there he well is, man. Well done, Vinny. You've made Thank it through you, puzzle sir. number one. You crushed it. Oh, dude, that Thank was you. tough. Thank yeah. you for making the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend theme puzzles. You guys, I have to tell them, David, because not everyone's seen your show, but I saw David's show along with the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend cast, and it was astonishing how you were able to take so many words that you knew and and intertwine them and create puzzles live on the spot. You guys, it's it's really re- amazing to watch this because you know some of a lot of, like most of those words I don't even know, but to watch you come up with it and to build it in in thought, it's kind of like watching Rachel Bloom write or tell jokes or write songs. It's like that. So I uh, well, it's gonna be um, props to you. Thank you. Awesome. It's going to be in Los Angeles uh, at some point. It was supposed to actually right. premiere this week, and it's been oh, pushed. Oh man! Pushed I know. Right. But uh, we're working. We're working on uh, releasing a date really soon. So. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah. I caught it in New York, and you you told me it was it's going to be here. Do we know where, or is that secret, or do we know that where here? That? Yeah. At the, at the Geffen Playhouse. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Love the Geffen. Seen Thank so you, many things Julie, there. Everybody go see it in L.A. Um, yeah, you guys got to go I, see it. I, I glimpsed. Um, before we go on to the next puzzle, I glimpsed okay. a, another clue, a bonus clue from Francis Haney, who is a, um, okay. a puzzle writer. And he said, formerly an HBO show set in New Orleans. Formerly an HBO, an HBO show set in New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll get this right. Well. I'm going to, yeah, I see it. I see it here. Spacey, Spacey has it. Rachel uh, allegedly has it. She says, oh, I love that. Uh, Michelle oh, has it. It is Treme Extreme you get from X Treme. Well done, Francis. All right. Well done. I never two. would have gotten that. <laughs> puzzle number two, Vinny. Okay. Now, I know you're a magician. So I am, sir. You'll like this poster. This is the great Harry Keller decapitating, self-decapitation. Whoa. And I was, thinking, I was thinking a lot about this and, and the fact that you love magic. Mm-hmm. And I was inspired because your name, Vincent, you can take off the first letter, you can behead it mm-hmm. to get a new word, incent, you know, like to incentivize. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, what other words could you behead to get mm-hmm. a new word, right? So the way this game is going to work, beheadings, <laughs> is I'm going to cool. take off so cool. the first letter of a word in a movie or TV show. Okay, so here's your clue. I'll give you an example, don't worry, here's okay. an example. Space opera about fighting over a driveway surface is Star Wars, but you behead the S in star 
to get Tar Wars, right? Remember oh, that the clue? clue? Space the, Opera. The clue is fighting over a driveway surface, right? So <laughs> tar Wars. Are they supposed to make it? me laugh? Because they're clever and they're, and yeah, they're funny. So. This know, is great. Like me doing dad humor, okay? <laughs> now, it doesn't have to be the first word. It could also be the second word or the third word. So here's right. another example. Yeah, yeah. If I were to say Tom Hanks plays a not-so-smart baseball referee, the answer here is the second word where it's Forrest Ump is your baseball referee, right? Aha. So you're going to behead one of the words for a movie or TV show. Are you ready? Got it. Uh, no, but let's do this. Five, four, three, yeah. two, one. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Anna Kendrick sings about the ideal thing you scratch. You got to get into it. You'll, you'll understand the pattern. What, what's a movie where Anna Kendrick sings? I mean, come on. Last five years, pitch perfect. Yeah, into right, the so woods. Take off, one, take off one of those first letters. Oh, itch perfect. Yes, itch perfect <laughs> is the ideal thing you scratch. Itch perfect. You guys, yeah. This takes dad jokes to a whole nother level. David, I think you have another book. Just write this book. It's Can I puzzles and dad humor, and then let's just let's just produce this together. Let's just be buds. Let's be pals. A funny thing about Pitch Perfect is that Ben Platt <sighs> mm. plays an acapella singing magician. And he it, does. And it, it just hits a little too close to home. Like, when I watch that, I am just too You know, okay. You know what, David? But do you sing acapella? Because I sing don't, acapella. Don't, don't, tell him, don't tell him. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Next one. What is your beheaded movie or TV show, Bell with Where the Sun Rises? I mean, really? Is it that? Right, <laughs> That's so Go funny. I think it is. You guys, I, okay, shall I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Beauty and the East? What? Did you say yeast or the Y? And the East? Because it, beast, yeah, yeah. you have to take the... Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought yeah, yeast, because you said I sun rises. from the 80s TV show, by the way. That's amazing. Oh, dude, I used to watch that show. So... Uh, you take beast and you behead one of those. Right. Right. And but you, you, you said sun rises up. And that made me think yeast. Oh, Soup's okay. clever. You, 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 are, you are in the neighborhood. Um, by the way, who plays the beast here? Okay. I feel horrible because I never bothered to check who that actor is. Let's and I'm see sure someone know in the chat. You'll be familiar super with famous. him in a more recent movie franchise. Let's, but let's, I'm just let's... staring at his face, and it's like I remember, like I remember what he that I remember that look. He looks so handsome. He actually looks sexy. And uh, uh, Peachy but I never. This. No way! Is it really him? him? Yeah, it's Hellboy himself. Uh -huh. No way! Yeah, Ron Perlman. Yep, Aquino Card Hart got it. Very good. All right, here we go. Next one. I got it. I'm looking for a beheaded movie or TV show. One of the words is missing a first letter. Right here. Fred Savage starred in this show about fabulous corn. <laughs> yes. What's the answer? <laughs> really? really? The, I think so. the, the Wonder Ears? Yes, The Wonder <laughs> Ears. It's a show about fabulous corn. Very good. I, that guy is an amazing yeah. director, and I met him. I did Hear Lies Love in New York at the Public Theater, and he came and he and he, with his wife and he freaked out he loved the show and i actually got to meet him fred one of savage? my childhood yeah one of my childhood crushes and oh. you know, like idols growing up like fred savage himself that's, that's so cool um uh and my friend sean worked on that and he was uh and oh yeah he, yeah he was the uh i think that was the show he was texting me before he says hi I'll, I'll connect you guys later he was the production designer or manager for my show um here we go next one is right here De Niro stars in this movie about a cabbie going down the Hudson. Oh, man. Oh, that's good, dude. That's really good. Uh, what do you got? I, I'm i laughing at myself because I feel like the dad humor is, is it it's a Taxi River? Taxi River is De Niro starring 
in a movie about driving a cat. Uh, taxi a driver. Cat down the Hudson. Very good. Ta taxi River. Okay, next one. Ooh. If you're just joining, Vinny's looking for a beheaded movie or TV show, uh -huh. meaning he's taking away a first letter. On this reality competition show, disguised crooners are posed questions. Okay, I, uh, yes, wow. May, may I? You, you may. I'm so scared I'm gonna say it wrong. The Asked Singer? It is the Asked Singer. It's posed, they are posed questions, very good. Hey, yeah. is there another one? There's more, we got more. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my... Dad humor as you want. Oh my gosh. Uh, in the chat, Francis Haney wrote that the sequel to Taxi River was Carface. Which is Scarface minus the uh, <laughs> props. Uh, That's you're impressive. Hired. Francis, you're, you're hired. hired. Next Francis, one. you're hired. All right. Go down the rabbit hole for some head scratching. I'm going to grab something and just shake my head at how. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ready? Okay. Do we got, I got this. I, I, I think it's lice in Wonderland. It is lice in Wonderland. Yes. Alice is missing beheading the A to get lice in Wonderland. That's some head scratching. Good job. You figured that one out. Which was a Broadway show. It was yeah. called Wonderland for you theater nerds. And I saw it. How about this, buddy? Molly Ringwald stars in this film about looking nice in the press. You know, this is so sad. I'm only thinking of one movie that she was in. I know she was in more. Beth has it. Annie has it. Becca has it. All these people have it. S.R. Holter. Uh, you know, can I, I'm just going to say, I, I, I don't, I actually don't know. Want to ask so. our smart friends? Yeah, ask smart friends. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Really? Pretty. Is it, is it, I'm looking at, I'm going to give them credit. Pretty in ink? Yes, it's pretty in ink. I use that in the press to mean, you know, uh, to have ink when you're in the press. So pretty in ink is that Molly Ringwald film. Very good. While How you're this saying, one? this one's, right. this is tough. This is tough. Are you ready? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send One of myself. the words is beheaded, meaning it's missing a first letter. Michael Douglas and Annette Bening in a movie about a USA doctor in training. Hmm. Oh, Michelle man, yeah, I, Olivia you know, I, I thought I had it for a second. I'll give you a hint. It's a romantic comedy that takes place in the White House. Amy has it. Lived an Inch has it. Oh, my gosh, dude. I have not seen that movie in such a long time. Yeah, what answer? Why can't I? Isn't it? Isn't it one name? Oh, no, you're thinking of maybe Dave. I'm thinking of Dave, but it's not Dave. Yeah, that was All right, that means, that means like... All right, the answer is the American resident is a doctor <gasps> in training. Yeah, the American resident. I forgot yeah. that was Annette Benning. Yeah. Okay, how about this? David Lynch show about how to take home mountaintops as prizes. David Lynch's seminal TV show. You either you either know this or you don't. You know, you're either one of the. I don't. People. That's a huge super. I don't. Of this I'm gonna. Or, yeah. I'm. I'm gonna pretend I'm. To... I'm gonna pretend I'm thinking while I place this awesome Wolverine shirt over my shoulder because the artist is actually watching on this call, oh, and so I'm awesome. representing Lucas. I see you, bud. Uh, yeah, dude, the I... answer here is Win Peaks. Dude. Yeah, that's your. So uh, if you're just joining. I would never got that. 
Then he's looking for a beheaded, meaning losing first letters of one of the words in a film or TV show. How about this one? You're going to nail this one. Julia Roberts and Richard Gere in a film about a beautiful Middle Eastern country. See, the, the, I, I got this one. This is pretty easy. The only thing is because of my limited vocabulary uh, or, or, or um, geography knowledge, I'm wondering, like, is that, a, is that an Eastern country? Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern country? Um, uh, is it uh, Pretty Omen? Yes, Pretty Oman. Oman, yeah. Oman. okay, Oman. there you Oman. go. Yeah, Oman. Pretty oh, Oman. man. She's 21 years old in that. Whew, what? No way. And he was oh, four. man. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. How about this one? Um, oh, and I think I just saw in the chat also, uh, maybe it was West Side Tory, or, you know, I thought about taking Story and taking the S off to get Tory. I don't think that made the cut, but that's a good one, Francis. Here we go. <laughs> that is Next a good one. one. Francis is nailing in it. This bill, in this movie, Billy Crystal found a wartime friend played by Meg Ryan. The answer is not 1917. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It went. But if you had 1917, you get the uh, New York cell phone. Area. I mean, I, I might say it wrong. Should I? Should I say my guess, even yeah. though it could be wrong? Yeah. Is it? Is isn't it when Harry met Al Ally? Yeah, Ally. Your wartime friend is your ally. Very good. When Harry hey, met Ally. Nice. All right, this is your last one. Bring it on home, okay? Okay, you guys, in case I fall apart, you guys have to be there for me. Are you here? Okay, last one. All right. You know fun what? times with I'm David Arqua. I'm going to say you're not allowed to look in the chat for this one. You got it, Vinny. Here we oh. go. Pixar film about discovering a goth look for teenagers. Okay, the, I'm the not looking. Thing, they're here for you. They got you. If you want it, you, you can say go Pixar, for it. dude. You say Pixar, and then yeah, I have to go through a how list of. Under, how about underwater? That's a huge clue for you. Groucho Bark says it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got you it. You got, got it. it. What's the answer? Got... Ready? <laughs> Just keep swimming. Finding emo. Finding emo is the answer. Well done, my friend. And of course, all of these, even though they weren't Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, made me think of how they could be. And that moment made me think of the goths that were in What You Missed While You Were Popular in season four. So if you, if you ever do a Crazy Ex-Girlfriend trivia, I would, um, you know, I think I do pretty good in that. I, I mean, if you, if, you host, if you host one, I'll tune in. Why don't you, that'd be great. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was awesome. Amy, Amy says, I'm waiting for the Yiddish Pixar flick, Oi Story. I was thinking... <laughs> I was thinking that, Amy. I was thinking, but I was like, ah, that's, that's not that's not like emotional teen. Emo. I should have thought emo, and there's a whole way around it. You guys are so smart. That was awesome. Dude. You could also, you could also do the Pixar uh, movie Rave. That's another good one. Any other, any other Pixar movies? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Rave? Rave. What's the, uh -huh. what's the, the letter? The best picture winning Rave. There was a Pixar Pixar movie. Yeah. Wait, what, what 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 letter did you cut off? The B for Brave. Oh my gosh, I forgot that was a movie. Yeah. Well, there's that's too it. much. There's too much. You know, Pixar you know, is very it's popular. Great. There's people who want more puzzles, and I love you guys for it. And I'm just gonna do this again on Sunday. So please come back on Sunday, and uh, let's all thank Vinny for being here. You're the best man. And uh, I'll oh, see you soon. Dude. I look forward to. I look forward to your uh, crazy ex-girlfriend trivia live show and uh, some magic <laughs> trip as well. Magic. Well, well, what's funny is that actually what I'm actually doing in the next month is I'm doing a lot of teaching and I'm going to be presenting for a really cool concert that's happening online on Sunday for Mother's Day. Oh, and uh, so that, that'll be on my Instagram at some point. But I just want to send some love and to everyone during this time and say thank you to David because you're uh, my a we're, we're genius. Here. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, man. Uh, and everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have, Have a great day. day. Thanks, David. Thanks, everyone. Bye.